Hey y'all, it's your girl Tashonda Renee, and I'm back with another video. In today's video, it's gonna be a little different. If you've been following me for a while, you know I do not eat pork, but my family does. So today I'm gonna show you all how my mom cleans her chitlins. I know it says chitterlings, but it's chitlins. Um, yeah, so if you're interested in seeing how she does it, please stay tuned. So, um, she always uses the Aunt Bessie's brand. Um, they are a lot cleaner than other brands, especially that red bucket. Um, these barely have any you-know-what on them. She's already opened one bag, so this is what they look like fresh out of the bag. Yeah, so gonna bring you all along. So that's what it looks like. Oh, okay. Now what you ain't gonna do? <laughs> and I haven't done anything to these chips. And it looks super clean. As far as no debris being on it. But you're going to take off the membrane mm -hmm. or the film. There's nothing on this chip. So you're filling this sink up with water. Why? What you going to do with this? I'm going to wash them, rinse them, and clean them. There's nothing to remove. Ooh, it looks like something was. Oh, no, it must have been your hand under there. I really like to look around the edges because, you know, it's where it can really get trapped. Mm -hmm. I wonder how they get them so clean. So they these blow them. Aunt Bessie's are supposed to be hand cleaned, I believe, is what they say. Okay, so now the water is off. Hopefully, y'all can hear me better. So, she's saying that she likes to look around the edges, especially because a lot of Trappage. Debris gets trapped around the edges. So now you're just gonna throw can you from that the, in the clean can water. Can you get the salt out from up there? Yeah, what are you gonna do with the salt? Pour it in there. Pour it in the clean. Mm -hmm. Okay. Look at how clean this water is. Mm -hmm. And that's fresh. You cut the bag open and, and put it in there. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I'm just opening them up. So what you gonna do with this salt? Pour it in it clean. Right How there. much? I mean, just pour it a just... lot. So this is not gonna make the chicken salty. You could take the top off of it and pour it. Uh, I'm recording. Oh, okay. I mean, it's like gonna make your chicken salty. No, it's just gonna help scrub <clears throat> off uh, excess. Okay, I'm going to set the phone down for a minute and put it on the... Um, okay, now here's one that has some stuff on it. Like Surprisingly. What? Look like some corn. Oh my God. Oh God. Um, you need a bag, that empty yeah. bag? Okay. So you're pe peeling the membrane off. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Do you always peel the membrane off? No. Mm There you have it. Oh, I got poured the salt in your water. Yeah, these don't smell bad at all. Mm -mm, they really have no smell to them, hardly. Mm -hmm. Girl, I had to correct that. Hardly. Hardly. So, how much? 
Yeah. Well, how long? We should have timed it. Well, we timed it by recording it. Okay. Why well, was you going to say how long it takes to clean? Uh -huh. So there's literally nothing on this. I went around the edges. I'm going to leave it. Inspect the gadget. So how much were the Aunt Bessies? Um, they were nineteen ninety-five a bag. Whoa, for some slop. Shonda, just because you like them. I do like them, but well, I don't. Don't dog them up no more. I, mm, ain't no way I can put them in my mouth no more, honey. I'm past that. Okay. Past tense for me. See how thin this membrane was mm -hmm. on this? You want to pick it up? I've only actually had to remove two things. Mm -hmm. Two things. That's Why would somebody really? even want to go through the red bucket? The red bucket. Because you it's the same thing, five pounds. Mm -hmm. It is literally the so, same thing. So but by thing. the time you cook this uh the five pounds, you really it cooks down to half of that. It's, it's really not, not a not, lot. Not, the five pound bag not, is really not a lot. You get about a bowl bow and a half. Maybe a bow. Yeah. So what are you doing now? Just kind of making sure they rinsed off good. And we put a lot of salt in that water. What what does the salt do? Just help, help to mm -hmm. make it like a uh, exfoliate mm -hmm. exfoliation. Got to exfoliate the chickens. Ooh, now that smells pretty bad. That's probably from its dirty sink now. Mm -hmm. Baby, you got no Clorox spray or something? I got Clorox I'm going to use. You got what? Clorox that I'm going to use. Oh. So now you're going to do it in your sink. Mm -hmm. And there's no rhyme or reason to this. You're just cutting them. Mm-hmm. Cause they gonna shrivel up. Yeah. How many pounds are you cooking today? Just the ten. Ten. So two bags. Uh -oh. You just gonna dog up what we need. Cause you don't eat it no more. Man, cause I don't eat pork no more. That's your business. <laughs> Why nobody mad at you cause you don't eat pork? Mm. 
Y'all, I used to love chitlins. I used to love them. Probably still do, but I haven't eaten pork in so many years. I don't even think I can eat them. Scared it would make me sick. Okay, so what did you say? You want to do this until your water is clear. Just kind of rub them and... Mm -hmm. yeah, that water is still a little, a little bit foggy. Mm -hmm. A little foggy, honey. So one more time. So it'll be a total of three times or four. Three, three, four so four times. All right, so you're going to do it up pretty high. You're going yeah, to bring it to a boil. boil. Mm -hmm. Yep. They look real clean. So what she did was boil them for about 25, 30 minutes. And as you can see, it's a bunch of fat on the top. So now she's going to um, dump this out and add fresh water. And then she'll go ahead and start cooking them. So do you feel the water all the way up or? Yeah. So yeah, now she'll just go ahead and let them cook. How long are they gonna cook? Uh, probably about four or five hours. So she said about four or five hours. When will you season them? Probably at the uh, fourth hour. On the fourth hour. What are you gonna season them with? Salt and pepper and an onion. Put a whole onion, do you chop the onion? I just drop the whole onion. Drop a whole onion in? You can chop okay. it up, it don't matter. So you don't do any celery or bell peppers or anything like that? No. Okay. All I'm right. Since I'm making chitlins. <laughs> Got it. Okay, so we'll be back in four hours. Okay. So this is how she's cleaning her sink after she's done cleaning her chitlins. Clorox. And what's the soap, Mama? Don. Don. Pour off the Don. Did you watch that? The thing mm -hmm. already here.
Okay, so the chitlins have been cooking for a couple hours, about two and a half, maybe even three hours. Um, so she's going to go ahead and season them now. She's going to put a whole onion in, and she's not chopping it up. She's just going to drop the whole onion in. And then she's going to season with about a tablespoon of salt and a tablespoon of black pepper. And that's pretty much it. She's just going to allow them to cook until they are tender to her liking. Um, just be sure to season your chitlins to your liking. If you want to use other seasonings, that is totally fine. There's no right or wrong way to season them. Um, if you want to add some vinegar, then you can do so. Um, yeah, there's no right or wrong way. So that's pretty much it. This is what they look like when they are done. And she did allow them to cook for about five hours. And believe it or not, this is the entire five pound bag on this plate here. So as you can see, you don't really get much from the one five pound bag. But to me, the price is still worth it just because you don't have to go through all that slop. Um, that you go through with that red bucket so that's it y'all that's the video um, if you have not already done so please go ahead and subscribe to my channel I would love to have you be a part of my YouTube family I have a lot more videos dropping this week for the upcoming holiday Thanksgiving so if you don't want to miss any of those videos go ahead and subscribe and thanks so much for watching have a great day